Greetings Cancer, welcome to your horoscope. Okay, we're starting out with the moon in Virgo. Moon in Virgo rules your third house. Third house is the house of the environment. It is a house of communication, it is a house of cousins, siblings, friends, and people that are neighbors, people nearby, your whole locale, where you're at. Do you identify with your environment? Um, do you take action? A lot of times when Mars is crossing somebody's third house, I say there's transportation issues going on. You're traveling, you might have a breakdown, you have to take action on it. Either know how to fix your vehicle or your bicycle or whatever mode of transportation you're taking. One plane ain't making it, you get on another one. That's the deal. Now Jupiter, it's up there in the midheaven, um, actually in the 11th house for Cancer. So that's the house of good friends. And I'll tell you, when you got Jupiter in the 11th house, really cool things happen. You meet really good people, people with a lot of wisdom, people that have insight into the future. They can give you some good guidance. And who couldn't use a little guidance right now? Now, you've had some good love. You've had a lot of compliments. People are loving you, loving you out. That love is going to intensify in some ways as Venus gets out of the seventh, moves into the eighth house. The other thing is Pluto's still there, though. Transformation is constant. And you want to be healthier. And uh, you want to respect your feelings and your intuition. <clears throat> But ultimately, there are um, foundational changes that are going to occur this week, and they just need to be addressed. 